Okay, Brett, so we've done some work together now, and we've found this um, negative core belief of yours, I'm a failure. And what we're going to do with this now is a technique called the um, spectrum technique or the continuum technique. I'm going to take a look at this belief and um, kind of rate it and look at it in terms of what would 100% of that belief look like in a person's life, what would 0% and then kind of find the middle ground there and sort of see where you fit in that. Okay. Right off the bat, though, when, when we think of I'm a failure, how much would you believe that thought just right now? Close to 100%. Close to 100%, right? And if you name the moods that are kind of present for you or the emotions that are here for you right now, what would you be feeling right now? Depressed. Depressed, yeah. yeah right. And often when our negative core beliefs get activated, we even start experiencing that sense of shame and shutdown because it's fairly overwhelming so so this can be pretty tough but let's kind of move away from the emotion and get kind of logical about this and start thinking about it on our continuum here so let's start over there at the top at 100 percent if you think of someone who is a total and complete failure what would be going on in their life what would it look like total failure you bet no job okay Job. No spouse. No spouse. No family. No family. No friends. No friends. This looks sounded pretty bleak. <laughs> uh, no skills. No skills. What do you mean by that? Um, abilities, mm -hmm. you know, to contribute. Okay. So kind of skills for a job, but also maybe like social skills yeah. and that kind of stuff. So just nothing. Any kind of skill. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. No assets. No assets. What do you mean by that? Kind of pull that apart for me. Oh, well, you know, like you know, a lot of people own houses. Sure. Things like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that would be about it. Okay. Would this be someone who would maybe have a criminal record or be in jail? I guess if they're yeah. a complete failure. Okay. So no freedom. No freedom. Okay. Anything else? No. no. I don't think okay. so. No job, no spouse, no family, no friends, no skills, no assets, no freedom. A hundred percent failure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And you said that you thought of yourself as 100% mm -hmm. I guess with this criteria, I mean, I clearly wouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah. What's that like to say that out loud? It's reassuring. Reassuring. You know, it is. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess it challenges that all or nothing thinking that we've mm. been talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's what these negative core beliefs often are, just bleak, solid, all or nothing thoughts. But you know, interesting that this is the criteria that that you were judging yourself by, and you know, it's maybe not one hundred percent true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's keep going here. Let's see where we end up. So let's go over here. So zero percent failure. I guess we can assume a hundred percent success. Okay. So what would this person's life look like? So it would be the inverse of, of yeah. that, right? Yep. So um, perfect job for them. Perfect job. Perfect spouse. Huh? Perfect family. Um, perfect friends. Uh -huh. uh, highly developed skills. Only highly developed? Like, I guess perfect. Right? Okay. Perfect skills. In what? Uh, life skills, you know, career skills. Career skills, yeah. So, because it's 100% success, would that would have to be perfect skills in everything? I guess, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that too far or does that make sense? No, if, if it's complete success with 0% failure, right. then yeah, it okay. would logically have to be perfect, right? Right, okay. What else? Um, so, I guess perfect assets, but that would very wealthy, I guess. Very wealthy, yeah. Okay. And complete freedom. Complete could do, freedom. Could basically do what they want. Okay, 
So over there, total failure, no job, no spouse, nothing going on for them. Over here, perfection. So perfect everything essentially, family skills, friends, wealth, um, perfect job, complete freedom, right? You know what, anyone in your uh, Facebook friends like this? You know anyone like that? Mm -hmm. Some people who think they're like that. <laughs> yeah, sure, right? <laughs> Some people who think that, that's quite different though, yeah. But no, no, no. no nobody's perfect. Okay, well, let's then go to the gray zone. What would be in the middle? Somebody who would be 50% failure, or I guess 50% success, something right in the middle. So I would say it would have to be right in between, right? So yeah. are we saying okay job, Okay. an okay spouse? <laughs> okay, well, like, and let's Is be even, like yeah, kind of, but let's even be a little bit more specific. I mean, what would okay job mean? A job that they don't love, but they don't hate. Okay, they're almost almost indifferent towards, maybe indifference is what we're talking about. Okay, indifference to job, that's good. That's why I've gotten already sorry. Oh so a job that they're kind of indifferent yeah. to. Yeah. Okay, but they're indifferent. Okay. And then they have an okay marriage, so that would mean, you know, they have lots of struggles, but they also have some, some strengths and good times and whatnot. Okay. Struggles and also strengths and good times. Okay. 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 Same thing with the family, I guess, right? Family. Same thing. And friends, yeah. Same thing. Struggles and just strengths about equal. Okay. If we're talking 50%. Okay. And I guess they would have about 50% of the skills they should have at okay. their age and And that's for training and kind of social skills. Yeah, I would think. Okay. And I guess they'd have half of the assets that most people of their age would have. Okay. So now we're kind of comparing almost. Like yeah. before this was across the board failure. Yeah. But now we're like a certain person of this age would have typically this much. Yeah. Now it feels like I have reference points. Okay. So I can make comparisons. Okay. So 50% of assets. And how, like now you said, now I have reference points. How is that different than <laughs> I'm a failure? Now I have reference points. What's happened there? Yeah, I, I thought I basically, um, I didn't really have a reference point. Yeah. I was making judgments without a reference right. point. Not thinking that that's actually what 100% is. And when I could compare, I clearly saw that's yeah. what well, can't be there. Right. right. Okay. So what does that mean about reference points for you, do you think? They're very important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's even split hairs a little further. Let's do the 75% and this 25%. Okay. And then we'll sort of see where, where we end up with this. So which one do you want to do first? Um, I think I totally understand. I think 25% would be like fair. You, you know, like fair thinking everything. report cards, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, wait, no. Sorry, that would be poor. Poor. Okay. And 75% would be Fair, okay. Right. Right. Would right. Be something like that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So brass tacks. Would that? What would that mean in terms of you know, family, marriage, job, and struggles versus strengths and fun times? So for having a, if we're going the seventy-five percent, having a job that they mostly love. Right. Just uh, you know, uh, a quarter of it being. Right. Kind of struggles. Like, yeah. Kind of Similarly, with kind of down the board. Down the board. Okay. I think, yeah. And then the same thing with the twenty-five. Okay. In the other direction that. Right. Seventy-five percent um, don't like it. Or right. Performing poorly. Okay. Is that the point? Of, like, yeah. 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 And I was going to ask, do I need to write it down, or it sounds like no? I get it. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, I got it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what's it like to pull this apart so much for you? When you're saying I kind of totally get it. What's this? Yeah. Like for you? Well, it's good. Like I, like I said with the reference point, I really feel like I I can compare myself a little better, yeah. you know, okay. and it makes me think. I mean, that's a hasty conclusion, I think. <laughs> a hasty I'm a conclusion. failure after, right. after looking at this. Yeah. Yeah. And you said yourself, now I can compare. So let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Before you said you were 100% over here, now that you can compare and you have your reference points, where would you put yourself? What's standing out is somewhere between 50 and 75, hmm. something like that. So, yeah, that was like a, a little bit more failure than success. A um, little bit more success than failure. Oh, okay. Might look like. I think we have 
have this backwards, don't we? No, I don't think so. Well, over here would be perfect. So this would be where fair is. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll put fair over here and poor over here. Poor over here. That's what gets a little tricky about looking at it negatively. Yeah. So would you put yourself yeah. over here then, closer to where? Yeah, I put myself. Yeah, uh, for on the well. So it depends on how it's framed, right? Because now I'm thinking, I'm a little closer to fifty. Okay. Somewhere where would you put it? All right, that's standing out. Sure, <laughs> yeah, but just on just on this side of success. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now that you've worked through this and you've put yourself, you know, closer to success than to failure, <laughs> how does that make you feel? Um, better, uh -huh. not great. Okay. You know, I still feel like I'm below, yeah. you know, where it should be. But, right. But yeah, I'm clearly not. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. And these negative core beliefs take some time to shift and change, but I wonder if we could talk about some homework exercises that you could do that would even strengthen this more. You could actually kind of live into this a little bit differently. Sure. Okay. Sure.